purpose of this video is to show you how to get Grand Theft Auto 5 working on Linux like it used to before the 17th of September 2019, which is when Rockstar Games released their new patch, which included a Windows Games Launcher required to run the game, which doesn't work in Linux. Um, previously, the game worked perfectly in, in Linux. All you had to do was get Proton 4.2-9 installed. Um, in Steam and then you could download the game through Steam like you would in any other operating system you know Windows, Linux, Mac OS, whatever and it would just run the first time no tweaking at all it was really quite nice now they've installed this patch that requires this games launcher that doesn't work in Linux so when you try and play the game this is what happens you get unable to locate Rockstar Games Launcher please verify your game data Verifying your game data doesn't help. Clicking help doesn't help. Clicking OK just closes the window. Uh, so obviously that's quite annoying. The game used to work perfectly and now it doesn't just because of this games launcher that Rockstar want us all to use. Um, now I have found a workaround. I did a bit of Googling and that's what this video is about. Um, so I found this Reddit thread. I won't make you read the whole thread because that's what I've done. Um, but there's obviously a, a number of solutions in here, some of which may or may not work. The one that worked for me is just a third party mod that lets you play the game without the launcher. Um, so again, I found this, this link here, all links in the description. And if we go follow the link, we end up with gta5mods.com. Oh, that's the page. Download. No GTA Launcher 2.0, I've obviously already done that. Uh, so you end up with these two files, no GTA 5 Launcher.asi, no GTA 5 Launcher.exe. This is the one we want for Linux. So we'll copy that, Control C, and then you need to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 install directory. So you right click properties, local files, browse local files, and it takes you straight here. So GTA 5 play sorry, playgta5.exe is the file that boots up when you initially start Grand Theft Auto 5 via Steam. So we're going to change this one out for the one we've downloaded, so I'll just put back in the file name, and now it's no longer going to do anything, it won't be seen by Grand Theft Auto 5. And then we'll copy this new file we downloaded, no gta 5 launcherexe and then we'll rename it to what playgta5.exe used to be called. And uh, effectively we just replace that file. So now, if we go back to Grand Theft Auto 5, let's close down this. Go. go back here, Grand Theft Auto 5, play. Click play. Let's see what happens. It does take a, a minute to boot up. second now. Black screen. Slightly promising. Ooh. And this is with an SSD as well. Not the fastest PC on the planet, but it's uh, not too bad. It runs pretty well once the game's loaded. I have no idea whether or not this solution will work with multiplayer modes. I suspect not. Uh, I'm only interested in the single player myself, so it's not a problem for me. I can only hope there's an official fix by the time I've completed single player if I want to play multiplayer. Um, but I wouldn't hold your breath for that. Again, still loading. Bit of a loading time on this thing. But you, you saw it didn't even boot up before I'd, I'd done this, so I'm really just proving the point here. I don't expect the game to run as fast while I'm recording this video, um, which I'm doing on the same PC as I'm playing the game on. Uh, but it will demonstrate that it works, hopefully. And there you have it! A little bit too loud, I'll turn it down. Oh! That was just me alt tabbing. There we go. Let's just prove it actually does work. There we go. Now it is a little bit 
slow on the frame rate there. I'm just going to put that to the fact that I'm recording this. To the game. And there you have it. So just to go back over that process in quick, you updated your, your GTA 5 on Linux on or after the 17th of September 2019. So you've got this new games launcher and now it no longer works. It did work perfectly, now it doesn't at all. Uh, so you want to run GTA 5 without the new games launcher. You use a mod which you download to achieve this. You got your link there. I might include another link on, you know, just in case that one disappears. Uh, all of these links will be in the description. So you find your GTA 5 install directory via Steam. Um, that's where mine is. Yours will be somewhere perhaps similar, but probably different. Uh, you rename and you replace your old playgta5.exe with the newly downloaded and unzipped no GTA 5 launcher.exe. Uh, maybe keep the old file as a backup. And then you just run the game the same way as you used to, and it should all work perfectly. Uh, so good luck with that. Happy GTA 5ing. Uh, feel free to like and share.